everyone, this is Milo Fantasy 95. It's time for another Transformers 4 discussion. And uh, got some pretty big news in this discussion, but I'm going to save that for the later part of the video. Uh, first off, I'm going to start off with some Age of Extinction wall decals from Fathead. And uh, these are just pretty cool looking for, you know, uh, a kid's room or heck, even an adult's room. Um, you got like stuff like Lockdown, um, the Cars, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee. Um, they're all in these giant fat heads. Um, they're running about a about a hundred dollars each, so pretty pricey, but they're pretty cool if you I guess if you have the cash to spend on it. Um, but uh, they are pretty cool looking, and, and we kind of get our first uh, real look at Lockdown in uh, something that's not his uh, promotional art form. Uh, this is not the full fledged CGI, but it is kind of like more of the promotional CGI. It's going a little bit more cartoony. But it is the closest we've gotten to him that's not, you know, from trailers or from the really drawn out uh, promotional art. So pretty cool looking. So like I said, these are about $100 each, so pretty pricey. And uh, they are pretty cool looking though. Um, next we have Cybertron Monday. And Cybertron Monday um, is announced for Monday, May the 12th. And that is when the Age of Extinction toys will be available for purchase online. And um, in stores, they will be available on May 17th. And um, heck, I'll even I'll just go ahead and talk about this now. Also, on Cyber Monday, um, will be a possible Transformers Age of Extinction theatrical trailer. Um, now, this is because on Hasbro's website, they have this um, advertisement for a, uh, a new app for Age of Extinction. And, you know, this app, you can see, like, photos and videos. And it's kind of like a, kind of like a trivia game that you can play. And um, it says that people who have the app can have a, uh, a sneak peek for the um, trailer on Monday. So not sure if that means that the people with the app get the sneak peek on Monday because it's not available on the app yet. Or if we actually do get the trailer on Monday and the sneak peek comes out a little bit before that. So, But it looks like we are going to be getting either a trailer on Monday or at least a sneak peek of the trailer. So that is definitely good news. So Cyber Monday is going to be pretty big. Um, not Cyber Monday as in like the date that Monday after Black Friday, but this is Cybertron Monday. So I got to kind of get their pun there. Um, so um, that is something that we definitely are going to be looking forward to. Um, also, uh, we have a new look at some some new Dinobots, uh, which is which is fairly interesting. Uh, thanks to the uh, Frito-Lay um, advertising that they're doing, at least in, in Turkey right now. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing that in other countries as well, but at least Frito-Lay Frito is doing this in Turkey, and, you know, I guess you get these uh, these kind of like trading cards when you buy Frito-Lay products there, and um, something interesting is we have two new Dinobots from these trading cards, and they are Slog and Snarl, and Slog is, uh, seems to be based off of Sludge, um, from past incarnations of the Dinobots, and so not sure if uh, these two characters are going to be in the film. Um, they do have that same promotional art uh, that the other characters have had that are in the film. Um, not sure. Maybe maybe this is just because they're going to be having toys and not going to be in the film itself. But they are really cool looking, and I would love for them to be in the movie. But I guess that would kind of be a Dinobot overload, considering that would be seven Dinobots in this movie. Um, but I do really like these, and I kind of wish since they uh, were based off of um, you know the previous Dinobots that you know kind of the core the core main five there, I kind of do wish that they, they would appear in the film, but you know only time will tell on that. But they are very cool looking, so if you're in Turkey, you know get some uh, some Age of Extinction trading cards by buying Frito Lay products. That's pretty awesome. And um, next and. Uh, yeah, we have uh, um, a deluxe Bumblebee based off of the 2014 Camaro that has now been released uh, by some photos from Hasbro. And uh, here we have him in package a, um, along with a previous incarnation of Bumblebee. And it's kind of cool. We got like the old Autobot logo next to the Transformers 4 uh, Decepticon logo because, you know, it's kind of got the, the past and present thing going on. So this is, you get two toys with this and you also get those throwing stars. Um, from Bumblebee, and you get a gun for the uh, other Bumblebee, and uh, so that, I mean, I actually, it, it looks like a pretty decent toy, you know, they had to completely restructure Bumblebee, because, um, you know, the 1967 version of Bumblebee in this film, um, they kind of took the same old toy mold 
that they've had from previous movies, and they kind of just shaped it to be like that. But this is a completely new design for a Bumblebee figure, and I have to say it does look pretty good considering, you know, Bumblebee does have so many non-car parts on his vehicle form. On, I mean, on his, uh, on his uh, robot form, I mean. Uh, so, that's, I mean, that's pretty cool looking. And um, next, we have... A uh, Oreos uh, promotion that they're doing. I think I talked about this um, maybe a, an episode or two ago. Uh, but Oreos have been spotted with Age of Extinction, uh, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee on them. And um, on the packaging, um, you see you see them, and then you also see that you can win tickets to um, Hollywood, California. And I'm guessing that's to see uh, go on Transformers: The Ride. And you also can win, win tickets to actually see Transformers: Age of Extinction. And um, you go on uh, their website, um, I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description, but that does not open until May 15th, so I'm not sure if these Oreos just kind of got leaked out into the stores early, or they just are not starting the promotion yet. But that contest opens May 15th, so you can win some Age of Extinction tickets, or you can win a trip to California, which is pretty cool. Um, so, that just about does it for... For this um, Transformers 4 discussion, um, I am Final Fantasy 95. See you guys next time.